Embrace the filth, befriend dust bunnies, or grab a vacuum. All right, I've loaded up the BFF household, my favorite household in The Sims 4, and we're gonna use them to test out the new vacuum cleaners. So I have no idea where they are in the catalog. I'm just gonna search. I don't know how to spell vacuum, apparently. I thought there was two C's in it. There's one C, vacuum. <laughs> Okay. Oh, they're under appliances. So under appliances, we have the Dusty Chaperone Upright Vacuum by Suck Up Industries, Dust Dandy Cordless Vacuum, Dirt Herder 5000, the Debonair Dust Portal, and G7 Swivel Swank. So there are five different vacuums, and this is everything that comes with the Bust the Dust kit. I keep wanting to call it Busted. <laughs> Busted dust kit. I don't know. Th this is everything that comes with it for $4.99 that you see right here. Um, so we're going to try it out. I have to say, I have to admit, I have always wanted vacuum cleaners in a Sims game. Um, I think it's just part of everyday life. And I like living out the mundane parts of life in my in my sims game some people don't like that i had somebody comment on my last kit video and say that they didn't like vacuums because they didn't want to do chores in the sims because they had to do enough of that in their real life and i totally get that but i am the kind of player that i like more realistic gameplay and i like to do these mundane kind of things like mop the floor and vacuum and do laundry i love it i can't get enough Give me more cleaning supplies, please. <laughs> so I am a little intrigued by this. I think the price is too high. I think $4.99 is too much for these five vacuum cleaners. Um, but we'll see. We'll see if I change my mind after trying them out. I want to see the animations and I want to see the stupid dust bunnies that I just already know I'm going to hate. And I also want to point out that I am using no mods whatsoever. I have not been playing The Sims 4 for several months now, and I am not going to go and update all those mods. So we have zero mods in here. So this is just vanilla game with the busted dust kit. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. All right, so I'm going to have Travis. I'm going to purchase like the cheapest vacuum, okay? It's 180 simoleons. It's a nice little, I guess, budget vacuum for your Sims. And we're going to have Travis here go over and... Oh, your Sims can have a favorite vacuum cleaner. Well, that's just unnecessary. <laughs> um, they can vacuum around. They can put it in their inventory or they can empty the vacuum. I, I do like the fact that you have to empty the vacuum out. So there's a little maintenance that goes with it. And you can also upgrade the vacuum. Um, so let's just have him vacuum around on the wood floor. On the wood floor, whatever. We don't care. I just want to see how it works. Okay, so... All right. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> of course. What, what what should I have expected from The Sims 4? He doesn't go over to the vacuum and, like, grab it with his hand and start vacuuming. He kind of stands in front of it, and then it just, like, teleports to his hand. So that is... That's a pretty common scenario that we see in The Sims 4. I feel like a lot of the animations are half-assed like that. So this actually looks pretty good to me. Uh, I think this is pretty good vacuuming animation. He, he Maybe he looks a little over-exaggerated, but it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And you see the little light on the vacuum, so... It looks like... It kind of looks like it's sucking things up there. Um, so that's not terrible. And it looks like he'll vacuum for just a certain amount of time and then he'll stop. So I'm just gonna let him go on. He's just standing in one place, though. So here's something I'm noticing. He's not moving around the room like I would expect. Like when you vacuum, he's just going to vacuum this one area where he's standing. So they don't have any kind of animation where they actually like move around the room. That's a, a little disappointing, but you know, I could still pretend I could still look past it. Okay. And after he finished vacuuming, the vacuum just disappeared. It just completely disappeared. And I'm guessing it's in his inventory. Yes. Yes, it is. So they just put it in their inventory. I guess that is because they also did not make an animation to end or like put away the vacuum. I would expect, and I did expect, I don't know why I expected it, but I expected the Sim to like walk up to the vacuum, grab it, um, vacuum the room, and then let go of the vacuum and it would stand there where you finished vacuuming. That's what I expected, but I was wrong. <laughs> 
<laughs> it just teleports into your Sims hand and then teleports into their inventory, which is, you know, classic Sims 4, classic Sims 4 there. Um, and I'm going to see if we can get him to empty the vacuum. Let's see what that's going to look like. No, you cannot go chat with Summer. You get over here and clean, mister. Okay, so, th you know, that's not too bad. He reaches down, he gets the bag out of the vacuum, and he takes it out. So some of this stuff, you know, I'm okay to suspend belief. Like, I'm okay to sort of pretend that he's vacuuming the whole room when he only vacuums one spot. It's kind of like the same thing whenever they mop a room. But what really gets me is just the teleporting the vacuum in and out. It, it's bothersome. The Sims 4, I have a real problem with immersion in The Sims 4, and these are kind of the reasons why for me. These type of shortcuts that I feel like they take. Like, yeah, we'll give you a vacuum, but, you know, you're going to have to just use your imagination that your Sim actually, like, turns on the vacuum and starts to use it. It's going to teleport directly into their hands. Okay, so we have a couple more vacuums that we can try out. I want to try out the little handheld. Maybe that one will be a little bit better. All right, so we're going to try out the Dust Dandy Cordless Vacuum. And I thought I could put it, like, on a table. or Oh, I can put it on a counter. So I'm going to put it here on the counter. And let's see if we can get Travis to come and use it. Okay. Um, okay. I don't have a choice to use it. So maybe I have to move it onto the floor. Let's see if he can use it there. No. So I thought that your son was just going to be able to use this to like go around the house and clean. But apparently this is just used to suck up dust bunnies. So that's also a disappointment for me i was expecting my sim to be able to like go vacuum the couch or something but no i don't why am i why am i doing this i don't even this is well we made it this far so let's just keep going so i did a little bit of research on this and i found out that you have to actually let your house sit without vacuuming it for a while until it becomes dirty and it can become so dirty that you will get dust bunnies and then you have to use this thing to suck up the dust bunnies and i don't know if you see like this shimmering on the floor every once in a while yeah there it goes and there's some more um that means that your floor is clean i find this incredibly annoying i would not want to have this in my game and uh, i know that people have already created mods for this busted dust kit <laughs> um so i hope that one of the things they've modded is to take out that shimmering because that is very annoying so i read that you can click here and you can check dust level and also since patrick is did i call him patrick what the hell's his name travis 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 is focused so he can vacuum to perfection, but we're not going to do that. We want this place to get filthy so we can see whatever happens when your house gets filthy. So we're going to check the dust level. He's going to come all the way into the spot I clicked and he's going to check the dust level. And he did some kind of weird flash out. He like disappeared for a second. I don't know. That was odd. The floor level is clean. The sparkling surroundings fill Sims with focus, inspiration, and energy. Great. Great. Okay. I'm really trying to be positive here. I really am. I, I'm, I am endeavoring to be more positive in my everyday life. So I don't know why I decided to review this. Keep up the good work or else your home will become dusty. So once again, we have more useless emotional buffs. More useless emotional buffs. So now my Sims are focused plus two, focused plus one from vacuuming. And of course, that will probably overpower any kind of sadness or happiness or anything else that Travis might feel in his life is going to be overpowered by him being focused from vacuuming. So the BFF family were way too clean. They were taking too long to get dust bunnies. So I moved over to this townie family. I'm sure you can tell from looking at them that they are a townie family who randomly moved into a house and we have a lot of lazy slobs in this household. One good thing, one positive thing that they did do is they did tie the vacuuming and the dirty how the dirtiness of the houses to the traits. So the neat, slob, lazy, and squeamish traits have been given added functionality for the kit. Neat Sims will vacuum more often and enjoy doing so. Slob Sims will not vacuum autonomously and will not be happy if they are forced to do it. 
So, so they say, so they say, I'm sure the slob will have a big grin on his face when I tell him to vacuum. They will also gain positive moodlets from being dirt in dirty or filthy situations. Um, lazy Sims will be more likely to ask other sim Sims to clean for them, which is, that's kind of cool, I guess. And they will also be more likely to refuse if another Sim asks them to clean. Squeamish Sims will become uncomfortable in dusty or dirty surroundings. So that's basically the only difference for that trait. So I did a little more research and found out that vacuuming is not the only way it's not the only thing that adds to the cleanliness of the house. So any cleaning that they do, like dishes or mopping or anything like that, will add to the cleanliness factor of the house. The house can go from clean to dusty, which also is not a negative state, to then dirty and then to filthy. Dust bunnies may start to appear when the house starts getting dusty. If the house gets all the way to filthy, then we will see filth fiends. I just have to say, I'm not a big fan of this whole dust bunny thing. I think it's just a little bit out there for my sensibilities. I prefer a more realistic game. I think this is just extra. I think this was probably just easy for them to throw in and be like, look, new features. But they, they could have spent the time that they spent making these stupid dust bunnies on actually making the animation for vacuuming better and more fluid. And that is my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to see if these sloppy lazy sims, if we can get a filthy house or a dirty house and see what the dust bunnies are actually like before I judge them completely. Oh, okay. I see something that didn't take long at all. Um, I see a dust bunny in this house. Wow. That was literally like a couple of hours in this house. And uh, I see a dust bunny, so I'm gonna buy one of those handheld vacuums, and we're gonna see if we can defeat the thing. I don't know, I just find this whole thing a little bit stupid. That's just my opinion. I, I just don't like this kind of, I just don't like this kind of gameplay. So if you are like me and you like more realistic type of gameplay, you might not want these stupid dust bunnies flopping around your house you might not like this either. Um, if you like more fantastical things in your gameplay like this, then maybe you will like this. I don't know. I don't like it. Um, so it says dust bunny, so friendly, so cute, but also so dusty. They may help find a few simoleons under the couch, but at the cost of your clean home. First of all, I want to see what we can do with this dust bunny. We can ask it to search for valuables. Um, let's have this guy go ask this dust bunny to search for valuables and see what happens. Hey, can you find some valuables for us? He's thinking about gold or something. Edgar's dust bunny quickly returned empty pod, clearly having put minimal effort into actually finding anything. Perhaps a dusty snack or a caring cuddle might encourage dust bunny to try a bit harder. So it looks like you have to try and befriend this stupid thing and then it can find valuables for you. So it's kind of like some weird dusty pet. Um, let's feed it some dust. I'm just trying to show you all the interactions um, that I can. So he's feeding him some dust. Okay, and now of course this gives him a happy moodlet. He's so happy. He's just overjoyed to be here with this dust bunny. And uh, okay, so we can't feed him anything else. And we can't ask him to search. And we can step on him. What happens if we step on him? Take that, you little bastard. Oh, now he's gone. Okay, we destroyed him. So you can step on him. I guess we'll wait and see if another one turns up. It, it appears to me that you have to try and like interact with it and become friends with it and then it can find some valuables for you. I'm not really interested in that. Um, but I did want to kind of show you as part of the review what it can actually do. So you can actually see the dust piling up on the ground. And oh, here's another one. Here's another dust bunny. It did not take long for this house to get dirty. Um, let's go feed him some dust and I'll, I'll actually try to befriend this one, okay? I'll try. I'm also gonna continue to let the house get dirtier and dirtier to see what happens. Oh, and another thing is each floor of the home has its own cleanliness level. So this floor level is dusty, but the upper floor could be clean or it could be dirty. So it's per floor. You could have like a filthy basement and a clean upper floor or something like that. You know, it kills me because just like with everything with The Sims 4, it was a good idea and it was poorly executed. I love the idea of the house getting dusty and The Sims having to vacuum it, but 
the bad animations and the stupid dust bunnies just kind of kill it for me. Oh, we can feed dust to this thing again. Get over here and feed him some dust, you mustachioed townie. After feeding him dust three times, I have the option to pet him. So we're going to try that now. Okay, he picked up the dust bunny, cradled it in his arms, pressed his face against it. <laughs> I guess that's a pet. Darren already has too many dust friends on this floor. He doesn't have any dust friends, though. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know if this is a bug, um, but I can't befriend him because it says Darren already has too many dust friends on this floor. Okay, well, let's just ask him to search for valuables. Maybe they did become friends. Dust Bunny found a dust-covered toy hidden in the household clutter. Who knows how long that toy has been lost? Okay, so we got a toy from him. So that's kind of how that works. You feed them dust, you pet them, you become friends with them, and then they'll find valuables for you. Okay, so my Sims keep getting money. Like, they keep getting anywhere from 50 to 100 simoleons over and over again. Um, I think this is coming from this pack because I have never seen this happen before. Um, I think it's the dust bunnies. It wasn't happening on the other lot. It wasn't happening until the dust bunnies showed up. Now, every so often, my Sims just get some money. They they started out, there's 72 simoleons just out of nowhere. Um, they started out with 20,000. They have 1,112 simoleons. There's another 36. Um, and this is just coming out of nowhere. I absolutely hate this. I do not like my Sims to have too much money, and I certainly don't like them to have just random money that comes from nowhere. Where is this money coming from? I really, really, really dislike this. This is bad. If you were trying to do a poverty challenge or something, this would just absolutely destroy it for you. I also noticed that now that my floor is dusty, my sim can click on the floor and choose ask for help cleaning and they can ask one of the other sims to help them clean up this floor. Um, I'm not going to do that, but you can do that. I've got it. We've got another dust bunny uh, on the ground floor now and they have happiness levels. So this one is neutral and I guess the happier they are, uh, the more likely they are to find valuables for you. Okay, we finally succeeded in getting the bottom floor to dirty status. This floor is dirty. Sims may start having some social troubles and some interactions may take longer to do while your Sims are distracted by the mess. If no measures are taken, the floor, floor will become filthy. So at least it does have some kind of consequence, at least the game says it has some kind of consequence. I don't know how that's actually going to play out when you're playing your family, uh, but it says that they'll have social troubles and some interactions may take longer to do. Next step, filthy town. Okay, we finally made it to filthy status. The floor level is filthy. Sims will be very uncomfortable, especially with filth fiends invading their space. The good news is there's nowhere to go but up, but only if you clean up. So it takes about, from what I've seen here, one day uh, for the house to progress to the next level if your Sims don't do any cleaning. Uh, it's taken about three days to get to filthy. I have not seen any filth fiends yet, but we will keep our eyes out for them. Okay, I've spotted something here. All right, so it just looks like a dust bunny with red eyes. I mean, no surprise there, right? Ask filth fiend to rummage for clutter. We can beg for mercy. We can try to pet it or we can appease it, step on it or name it. So let's try to pet, see what happens. I don't even care if this sim's uncomfortable. I don't care about you at all random sim that I'm using to test this. Okay, he sees the dust fiend or whatever, filth fiend, and he's really upset. Um, he tried to pet it. I guess that didn't go well. Um, and now we can do nothing. Or maybe we can have this... Hey, come here, lady. <laughs> we'll have you do it. He, we're gonna appease it. Oh, it's basically the same thing as feeding it dust. So it's exactly the same animations as for the dust bunny. She appeased it. Um, let's have her beg for mercy and see what that does. She did some kind of weird disappearing act there. She begged it for mercy. I, I don't know what that means. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Let's ask it to rummage for clutter. Rhonda's dust bunny quickly returned empty pot. Okay, so it's exactly the same thing as the dust bunny. It does exactly the same things. 
They just have a little bit of a different name. So the house is, is filthy. We've got the filth fiends. I am going to buy the handheld vacuum and see if we can clean this place up. All right, the dust dandy cordless vacuum. I'm gonna put it somewhere right there on the floor. And then let's watch as Rhonda here uh, tries to suck up this. Oh, great, you can't, she can't. All right, well, there's no option to do anything with it. Let's try putting it in her inventory. Maybe it will only suck up dust bunnies. I don't know why this has to be so complicated. I thought maybe if I put it in her inventory and then clicked on him, but no, uh, it doesn't work. I guess this only works on dust bunnies. Um, I'm just gonna buy a regular vacuum and have her actually clean up some of this dust. And I was just curious if there was a lot of dust on the floor, if they would still just stand in the one place or if they would move around. But it looks like she's still just standing in one place uh, vacuuming around here. Okay, here's a dust bunny. Uh, that just showed up in the bedroom. We can vacuum him. Now we can vacuum him. For some reason, we can't vacuum the filth fiends, but we can vacuum the dust bunny. So let's go for it, Rhonda. Okay, she can't get over there to him. Yeah, I can actually move the dust bunny around. So I'm gonna move him out uh, into the hallway. Okay, she pulled out the vacuum and she's vacuuming him up. And that was it. That's pretty much all of the interactions um, that come with the pack. So here's a couple other things I want to tell you about the pack before I go to my final rant. So the Roombas that are in the game um, from Cats and Dogs, and I think there was one from University too. These also work with the dust system. So you can have this going in your house and it will clean up dust and it will keep the house from getting filthy. Pets will also be afraid of vacuums. Children can use handheld vacuums and it will increase their character. Sims can vacuum toddlers to increase their hygiene. And finally, probably the best part about this pack is that you can turn off the whole dust system. If you go into pack settings under game options, scroll all the way down, you can disable dust. If disabled, dust related effects will no longer be present on played households. That is something that I would definitely do because I think these dust bunnies are really dumb. I would not want to play with this. It's annoying. I do like the dust though. I just don't know why they had to do that. I don't understand why they had to add this, these stupid dust bunnies in. Uh, why couldn't the house just get dusty and need to be cleaned? I don't know. But anyway, you can turn that completely off. But, and if you turn it off, your Sims can still use the vacuum cleaner. The house won't get dusty anymore. It won't get dirty and filthy and you won't get dust bunnies and all that. And your Sims can still um, just vacuum around. So I guess you just have to use your imagination on what they need to vacuum. Sims 4's motto should be use your imagination. Um, so then you just have to have your Sim vacuum randomly to sort of simulate that they're cleaning the floor, even though there's no dust on the floor. I don't know why we couldn't have some kind of in-between here where the it got dusty, your sim had to vacuum it, but we didn't have to have the stupid dust bunnies that give your sim co a constant rain of cash. So there's another big problem I have with this. First of all, would I recommend this pack? No, no, I would not. Um, for $4.99, you're getting a vacuum that your sim can use and you have to use your imagination to have a dirty floor or you're getting a dust system with these dumb dust bunnies that is going to rain money into your households from nowhere <sighs> no i would not recommend this for 4.99 at all in fact i would just keep my eye out for custom content vacuums that, that maybe could use these animations in the future uh, because I do not think this is a good pack. As much as I wanted vacuums in The Sims games, once again, great idea, poorly executed. I don't like the animation for The Sims grabbing the vacuum cleaner and putting it away. There's basically no animation. It just teleports, of course. Um, that's pretty standard in The Sims 4. And I don't like the fact that they don't move around the room when they vacuum, they just stand in one spot. That is one thing though I could overlook. I understand it might be difficult to like program them to actually go around the room when there's different furniture and every room is different. So I could overlook that if the animations were better, if we had the dust building up without these stupid dust bunnies. I am not playing Sims 4 right now. I have pretty much given up on the game ever being improved to something that is fun to me personally. Um, so I'm just basically reviewing this for the benefit of you, of my viewers. Um, and in my opinion, if you like to play like I like to play, 
I wouldn't waste your $5 on this. I really wouldn't. Now, fortunately, if you just really, really want vacuums in your game, um, there are some mods that have already been created to sort of improve this kit. First of all, all Little Miss Sam, uh, one of the best Sims 4 modders out there, has created um, a reduced dust spawn rate. The time until new dust spawns got increased by 100%. Less bunny rewards. Money loot is now only between 1 and 3 simoleons, and the chance to get some is lowered to 5%. Object rewards are disabled completely. So this is going to stop that constant rain of cash into your Sims bank account there. I would definitely recommend getting both of these if you are if you just really want vacuums in your game and you really want the dust system because I think that was the best part of the pack is having the dust build up on the floor and your sims having to clean it or their house getting filthy it's just the dust bunnies ruined it um, there's also less idle animation uh, except when the place is filthy no audio sound and dirty floors vacuum time and autonomy changes reduces the time for vacuuming by half and changes the autonomy so sims will only vacuum when it's at least dirty um, here is another mod, and I will link to these down below in the description box as well. This is another mod by Zero, Dust Shite Some Mods. So it looks like she has a version that removes completely the Filth Fiend and Dust Bunny. For me, if I was going to play The Sims 4 and I was going to play with this pack, I would get this mod. I do not want those dust bunnies in my house at all. So this completely removes them if you're like me and you don't like that. And then she also did um, some other residential only vacuum autonomy. So some of these are kind of the same as Little Miss Sam's. No money from bunnies, no route events, no cleanliness romance buffs. What the hell? No cleanliness romance, but what? Okay, I didn't see this when I was playing, but apparently there is a cleanliness romance buff. So you want to get this mod to get rid of that. And <laughs> tiny and haunted residentials, um, dust was not included in those. So this includes it, no focused from cleaning, insane focus buffs. Okay, thank you so much for getting rid of that and updated the filthy lot trait to also affect dust. This pack is a bloody mess, Zero says. So here are 12 little fixes. Um, you probably wanna get all of these. You probably wanna get all of these mods to just make this pack worth it. And to me, I'm just so done with The Sims 4 that I don't want to have to download 15 mods for a $4.99 kit, a $4.99 pack, whatever. It's just... I'm just tired, you know? I'm just tired of it. Um, so now I wanna hear from you guys, what do you think? Have you tried out this pack yet? If so, let me know what you think about it. And if you haven't tried it out, what do you think about what you've seen here? And uh, do you think you will purchase this and just use the mods to make it playable? Or are you just like, no way they're getting my $4.99? Leave a comment down below and let me know. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.